Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, today I'm here to share with you my medical coding program. On your screen here is medical coding program. I have seven total courses. The first course is Introduction to Medical Terminology, which is a 12-week online self-paced course. Then you go to Medical Coding Level 1. Upon completion of Level 1, you move to Medical Coding Level 2. Then we change things up a bit and go to Introduction to CPT. And then Medical Coding Level 3. And then Medical Billing and Reimbursement because some of my coders will be working in physician's offices. And in a physician's office, you tend to do the coding and the billing. So I have to prepare you for both. And then the final course is a CPC prep, where we prepare you for your national CPC certification through the AAPC. That course is 12 weeks long as well. Each of these courses, actually, all the courses are 12 weeks long. So what is the schedule? This fall, fall one, we will be starting well, actually, my introduction to medical terminology is open at all times. I put a date on here, August 3rd to October 26th. But again, that course is even open right now. It is self-paced. It is completely online. Everything that you need is within the course. But as you can see here, we will be starting our first class, Medical Coding Level 1, on August 24th. Again, 12 weeks leads it up to November 16th of 2021. So we have a lot of information to cover in that first course. And then fall two, which goes from November 30th till March 1st. Understand there is a two week break in there for Christmas and New Year's. So those students from medical coding level one in fall one will move to medical coding level two. Now, after you take medical coding level one and get your foundation laid, then you're welcome to take additional courses such as medical billing and reimbursement and the introduction to CPT. Those two additional courses will be offered. I have students that want to just take it slow, do one course at a time, and I don't blame them. But I have others that are up against the deadline. Coach, I've got to be finished. Double up. You can take additional courses. And as promised, I will be bringing in another Medical Coding Level 1 class. Then spring one, which is March 15th, right on the end of the uh, fall two, spring one, which is March 15th through May 31st, 12 weeks. Those students that were in level one in fall one who moved to level two in fall two will be ready for medical coding level three in spring one, or there's your introduction to CPT, which I re recommend next. Um, and medical billing and reimbursement will be offered as well. As promised, I will be bringing in another medical coding level one class. And for those students that didn't get a chance to register for the fall one, and they got into medical coding level one in fall two, I will be offering medical coding level two for them. And then by the summer, June to July, we have our CPC prep for all students that have completed the program by this time. And our CPC prep is 12 weeks long, but in the CPC prep, I expect the student to register for the class, get in. We do mock exam one hour, a CPC mock exam that's two hours long, three hours long, even a four hour long mock CPC exam for those students that will test at home for the two hours and 25 minutes or even go to a proctored exam for the five hours and 40 minutes. That CPC prep course prepares you to sit for that long period of time and code. It, again, we're running our marathon. You're not going to be able to just sit down and code five hours straight and not build yourself up to that point. And that's my goal in that CPC prep course is not only to build your momentum up to be able to sit there for four hours. Again, the exam is five hours and 40 minutes but to teach you strategies on how to take a national certification exam, particularly a medical coding national certification exam. Give you some little strategies to take with you into your exam to help you do better. 
And again, I'll be bringing in another medical coding level one class. The additional other courses will be offered if the need is there, medical coding level two, medical coding level three, medical billing and reimbursement, as well as the introduction to CPT. So as you can see, in the full year, from the time the program starts in August through the summer, Codemaster Coaches Medical Pro Coding Program will prepare you for your CPC exam. And hopefully my scheduling will accommodate your needs. If you have any questions on the program, feel free to email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com and I will gladly answer any questions that you have. But again, guys, as I promised, I am trying to make this program accessible to the students. I don't want my students to rush through this program. I tell you from day one, I am not a fast paced um, medical coding program. I'm not a fly by night. I promised you I wouldn't be a fly by night medical coding program. I am here to lay your foundation in coding and teach you how to code. The ICD 10 CM coding guidelines are 152 pages long. That alone, trying to learn all of those rules, I don't see how people do it in less than 12 weeks. So again, as you see here, can see here, I have three medical coding level one, two, and three course and CPT. So those four medical coding classes alone, and then bring in medical terminology, medical billing and reimbursement, and a CPC prep. Hopefully the goal of my program is to teach all of this to you and allow you some time to think about it and absorb it and really understand medical coding so that you're able to code. All right, guys. Again, here's the schedule. August 1st, we will be opening registration for medical coding level one, which is the first class coming in. If you have not yet taken medical terminology, email me, let's get you in medical terminology. I put on the August 3rd, but again, that course is open now. And even students in my program constantly asking me, please leave that class open for them to refer back to while they're in their coding classes because of all of the medical terms in there that they learned and that are being taught in that medical terminology class. Even though they've completed it, they want that course left open to constantly refer back to. And I understand and I leave it open for them. But again, medical coding level one will start August 24th. And guys, the reason I hold off until August, late August to start the class is because I want my students to get the newest edition of the ICD-10-CM codebook which will not be released until September 15th because October 1 of this year, we moved to the 2022 ICD-10 CM coding guidelines. So in order for my students to be able to get that 2022 edition of ICD-10 CM, which will not be released until September 15th, I wait to start a class as late August as I can so that I've laid the foundation for the class so they know what's expected of them so that by the time the books arrive, my students have already laid their foundation, they're ready to start coding. And when the books arrive, I ship them right on out to the students and we're, in, we're starting our coding process. So again, that's why we wait until August to start so that the book you study in is the same book that you'll test with. All of your notes, all of your highlights, all of your marks, the, the same book you study with will be the book that you test with. That is my goal. So again, the schedule is built. I'm trying to accommodate all students bringing in a class. So that makes me bring in a class four times a year. So again, we're going from two classes to four classes a year with our new 2021-2022 class schedule. So any questions, again, email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com. On next week, I will be bringing student testimonials. I think I'm going to start with graduates of the program that, so that you can hear from them and how well prepared did they feel for their exam, how well do they feel prepared for their jobs. Um, and then I would like to get also, I have testimonials from students that are currently in the program so that you can hear their testimonials as well. How do they feel about the program? How well prepared do they feel to code, even if they're not finished yet? What changes, what ideas, what, 
what do they like about Codemaster Coaches program? So I'd love for you to hear that from them. So I've asked them to turn in testimonials and I will share them with you so that you can see what the students have to say. Again, we do offer Zoom sessions three to four times a week per class. I teach the same thing at each class because I know that students are not able to accommodate any, you know, if I tell you Zoom class will be on Mondays at one. Well, if you're working, you're not gonna be able to make it. So the first week of class, I do a survey and I ask students when can they meet for Zoom? And then I try to accommodate their schedules, but I do end up having to have three to four different Zoom sessions a week so that one, at least one of those, students are only required to meet one Zoom session a week. At least maybe the students will be able to meet one class. Although I'll have students that will come to every one of them just so they can get this stuff in their heads. They can hear it over and over. So guys, if this sounds like something you're interested in, again, email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.